the S5 Mark II X from Panasonic has the ability to record in RAW using the Atomos Ninja 5 or the Blackmagic Video Assist 12G. Now you might be asking why would you record in RAW? What are the major benefits compared to log? Well, the main advantage is the flexibility in your editing software post recording. Recording in RAW actually gives you the ability to change things like ISO and white balance in post production even after the video file has been recorded. It should also be a little friendlier on your computer's processing due to the encode-decode process. There are of course drawbacks to working with RAW, the main one being larger file sizes compared to traditional formats like H.264, meaning your working drive and your backup drives are going to have to store more data for the same amount of time of recording. As well as little things like noise reduction, which is actually applied in a compressed format like H.264 and H.265, it's not actually applied to RAW. So you might notice your RAW footage is a little noisier than a compressed file format. And that means in some cases, you will actually have to apply noise reduction in your editing software, and that can often slow your computer down. With that being said, RAW does offer significant flexibility in post, including the ability to apply dramatic color grades that allow you to push the limits creatively. This makes working with RAW files great for those more demanding post-production requirements where you want maximum creative freedom in exposure and color control. There are two RAW formats you can record in using this camera and they are ProRes RAW over the Atomos Ninja 5 or B-RAW using the Blackmagic Design Video Assist 12G. B-RAW, of course, is great for people working in DaVinci Resolve, and ProRes RAW is great for people working in Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. Will you notice a huge amount of difference between these two formats? Probably not in the end result, other than how the data is stored. B-RAW does offer a few more compression options.